All right, back on the uh, Warrior, and uh, I was going to go to the Bose, uh, to Livingston today to pick up uh, the bronzes and the uh, delivery bronze for shipment to Alabama, but, well, the weather just wasn't agreeing with what I wanted to do, and so I've had to cancel that, and it's going to be next week now before the weather gets good enough for me to be able to get over that mountain pass between Bozeman and uh, Livingston. So, and it was, it's snowing outside right now, and uh, it's in the uh, 20s, I think, outside at the moment, too. So, anyway, I'm nice and warm here in my studio. I came down and actually turned on the heat a little early. All right. I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. Now this is going to have feathers coming all the way down and I've just got to figure out how I'm going to do that. Also, when you ship something that has something thin like this sticking way up, the feathers will add some strength to it, but still, it bronze is a soft metal and it would tend to bend and I worry about that. If they don't pack it right, it... Uh, could get bent. Of course, you could always bend it back into shape, but I don't want to have the client or the gallery have to do that. So, anyway, these are all things I have to think about when I'm working on this thing, whether I want to do it, what I'm doing, or not do it. I got to tell you, I, I'm just not in the mood to sculpt today. I don't know what is going on. But I'm in a blah mood. And I don't know if I should stop before I screw up things bad. Or what to do. You know what I think I might do? Is take the afternoon and just go through research. Try to stimulate my imagination. And uh, see if this is actually the best design I can come up with. I love the horse. I like the the idea of the whole thing. I've just got to get something better than what I've got right now. And this isn't a one inch head. That's a three quarter inch head. <laughs> that is really, really small. So as much as I'd like to continue working on this today, I think I'm going to call it an afternoon and go spend the afternoon stimulating my imagination with uh, my reference materials which I've got a ton of and uh, see what kind of composition I come up with before I go upstairs I'm going to try something different here If I can put most of the uh, staff in this kind of a position, I've got less that will bend. But now I've got to work out the pattern for the uh, feathers. And this is just what I'm thinking. Now, obviously, the feathers are going to be longer than this. But I want to try something out. Because it went... Oh, there it goes. Okay. I'm going to have to... Uh, anchor this so I can check this out this idea that I've got 
So I'm making a horseshoe piece of wire. And I know it's going to be hard to see it, but bear with me. I'm going to have to uh, poke a couple holes in here. There we go. All right. The wind is coming this way. His hand's right there. So it pressed down the feathers on in that area there. But then the feathers would be kind of flowing up in this direction. I want to see if this is going to look good or if it's just going to be a pain. That might make an interesting Hmm. See his hand holding down the staff holding on to the staff would have an effect on the feathers at that area. But the other feathers would be Possibly blowing backwards like that. It could make an interesting feather pattern. On top of the fact that he's going to be wearing a uh, war bonnet. And a leather uh, hair shirt. I guess it'd be against the uh, his chest. I mean, you always see him carrying it above or straight up or whatever. I just think it would be interesting to see a different angle on uh, this type of subject. Well, anyway, I'll just leave this for now. I'll come back tomorrow. I'm going to look at uh, some of the reference I've got on uh, the uh, this type of staff, the length of it, and all that stuff. All right, good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. I'm sorry it's not that much of a video, but I think you're seeing a little bit of the creativity part, the uh, part that's tries to stimulate the imagination of the artist to come up with an idea. If I was a real good artist, I'd have sat down and draw, drew this, uh, draw this out, drew this out ahead of time, but uh, I'm not that good of an artist. I mean, I'm, o I'm okay. I'm not putting myself down. I'm just, there are much better artists out there, believe me. I've also got to consider the casting costs of doing something like this, too. But I like the action of the, uh, the air, the wind. And when you get all the feathers, and they're, each one is separated a little bit, it'll make it much more interesting. All right. Good night, everybody. See you next time.
If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.